Hey guys, it's Josh here with ZagTutorials.com, where you can find everything for Drupal in a non-cutting perspective. If you follow my URLs and my tabs, you can see exactly where I'm actually at. So, I'm going to show you right now how to add font awesome icons to your website. Try to put links on them. And then uh, later in part 2, I'll show you how to actually add CSS to them and uh, add codes to the, uh, the i tags. And you can come on my uh, design tutorial site and find lots of tutorials on random different things. And you can also find them on YouTube as well. So, the first thing. Here's our website, and we want to install a couple modules on it, and I'm going to put them right, my font awesome icons right here. So the first thing, we need to get some modules. So the first module we're going to actually need is this one. If you come to this URL, you can get right to the actual link. It's the font awesome icons module. So you come on here, you can just right click that and say copy link location. You can go ahead and install a new module, and then just paste the URL right here and say install. I already have it installed. So, if I hit Control F, I can find my. Uh, here's my font awesome. It's already installed. It also has a, de a dependency, and it's the uh, the libraries and the font awesome uh, folder. So I'll show you all that. So you have to just do this one and install that module as well. But on my site. It's already installed right there. So with that, now we need to come to our actual font awesome site and get a couple things. So let's go look at the icons that we can use. These are fa space fa dash icons you can use. And you can use any of these like that. So it'd be five oh what's that one? Fa space fa dash line dash chart in the actual code we're gonna add. And we're, you can use any of these, it's really awesome. So let's go back to our actual font thing and download the files we need. So I'm going to download it. I think I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. And once you have that downloaded, you need to come to your file manager or wherever your control panel is. And you need to come to your actual site. And in our, uh, our control panel, you want to come to your sites. Uh, you want to have a libraries folder in here. If you, if you install the libraries folder or the module, then you just make a libraries folder in here. This is where all your your jQuery and other things go in here. And you want to make a folder and call it Font Awesome. So after you make that folder, you want to come inside this folder, and you want to upload the file that you just uh, you just downloaded right here. You want to right click it, uh, extract everything from it, and it'll give you this folder inside your uh, what the root that you're actually at. So when you come inside here, and you want to just move all your folders outside of it back into the font awesome folder that you just created. And with all that done, then there's a, a couple other tricks that you have to do to make this actually work using CK Editor. So the first thing is let's go back to our uh, let's go back to the Drupal page. I'm just going backwards. You see it says um add this code, you know, and then you know it should work, but it doesn't work if you just add this code. I don't really know why. They say it like that, but it's kind of dumb. So let's come over to our, our uh, site and let's add that code. The code does work in CK Editor, but it's kind of stupid because it disappears after um, you get out of the uh, source view. And you can try it just doing it like that, but it's not going to work because you actually have to do the Fa space fa dash and whatever the uh, icon name is. I'll just use our uh, Facebook because I have his uh, Facebook link up. Then I'm gonna save it. and I'm gonna show you that uh, it does work. However, there's a problem with our CK editor. See, so it is there and there's no link to it. And you could you could code in a link, but then as soon as you came back to edit the page, it uh, it all be gone. So here's how we fix that. We want to come into our configuration, so I'm going to open that up in a new tab. And we're actually going to configure the uh, CK Editor portion of it. So you come to CK Editor, and I'm using the full HTML section, so I'm going to edit that. There's a couple cool things you can do in here uh, for formatting. 
The first one for our, our font awesome module, uh, you need to come into uh, advanced content filter and disable this so it'll allow for your eye tag to show up. Then for the cleanup and output, if you just say yes here, it allows your uh, your code and your source to look a little bit nicer whenever you're looking at it. So that's fine. So now with that done, we can actually come back here. And I'm going to have to refresh the page or it won't show up quite yet. And you're gonna you're gonna add your little uh, your same code. Let's put a break here. And the uh, you're gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this. So like once you get out of your source. It just kind of goes away, and it seems like you know that little uh, thing I just clicked to disable would work, but it doesn't. So what you have to do is where a break go. So let me add another break here, and the only thing you have to do to completely make this work is you have to put this code in here. This just sig signifies a uh, like a space bar. So we're gonna do ampersand and B S P then the uh, semicolon and now your uh, font awesome icon will be there it'll stay there and it can you can edit it and add CSS to the i tag and everything else I know you can't see it and you're never gonna be able to it's I don't know how to fix all that but it does work see so there's a little font awesome icon and I'll show you how to add CSS to the i tags but with doing it like this in CK editor editor you can actually do all the cool stuff. So let me get um let me get that URL. We'll add a link to it. Then we're gonna go target. We'll say blank. Now that links to the actual Facebook. Um and let's just make it a little bit bigger. Oh say twenty just so we can tell it's bigger. We'll do 26, that way we can really show that it's bigger. So we'll save that. And there's our new uh, Facebook icon. I already have a rollover on this section. But, you know, so now you click it and it works. So that's how the font awesome icon works. And let's add, let's just uh, put that in here again. A couple times. I know it's kind of a uh, kind of confusing, but just with the uh, way it's um, set up, but I can't really help it. So let's add a couple more Facebooks in there. So you can do them like that. You can come back. And as long as you know your WYSIWYG, you can come back in here and edit it. Like, there are P tags in there, so it's putting breaks. I think we can just delete those. And then I'll make them lay in line. Drink. So if you get rid of those, they should lay in line. If they don't, I can show you how to do it with CSS on my next uh, part two of this, which is adding CSS. Yeah, so now we can add CSS to these. So that's how you use Font Awesome, and I will talk to you guys soon.